Okay, so it is official. Fernando Audi and Fatai Alashe have now joined FC Cincinnati. And both of them will be beginning playing for the club for the remaining of the USL time that FC Cincinnati will be spending. Before next season, they will be moving to MLS as part of the expansion team. And they will, of course, be the 24th expansion team. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are talking about the Fernando Adi part of the deal more than the Fatai Alashe one, mainly because... Uh, the Audi deal is actually a DP deal and that it is officially the first ever DP that FC Cincinnati have done. And I'm going to obviously talk about both of these deals and I'm certainly going to give a little bit more insight on the Fatai Alashe deal. Because I feel like from what I've been reading uh, article and what I've been hearing people talk about this deal, not a lot of people are mentioning about the Fatai Alashe part of the deal except for Quakes fan and I'm of course going to give you guys a little bit more in depth unless you of course are a Quakes fan and you probably will already know this but yeah uh, we start of course with the Fernando Audi part of the deal and you know like I said he becomes the first ever DP for FC Cincinnati and the FC Cincinnati will be sending 400,000 TAM and 450,000 GAM to Portland Timbers as part of the deal. And this is definitely a very interesting approach that FC Cincinnati decided to do with their first DP. Because if you've seen our last couple of expansion teams, teams like LAFC, Atlanta United, uh, Orlando City, and NYCFC, They've been trying to do things very big in terms of their first DP signing. I mean, you know, with LAFC, they decided to get Carlos Vela from Europe. And for Atlanta United, they decided to get Joseph Martinez from Europe and also get Miguel Almiron, a very talented player in South America. And then you have Orlando City getting Kaká and NYCFC getting David Villa as their first signing of the of their new club and yeah i mean this is definitely a kind of unorthodox kind of approach and in some way i kind of like this approach that fc cincinnati does than the other approach that that other expansion team has done because you know that you're going to get a MLS proven goal scored, and certainly Fernando Audi is that kind of guy, despite the fact that, you know, this season, for when he is with the Portland Timbers, he has definitely not been very good, and part of that has to do with that injury that he suffered last season and how he just have not looked the same player ever since he suffered that injury. But before that injury, he has scored at least 10 goals in every season that ha he's been with the Portland Timbers. And he was also one of the big part of why the Timbers won MLS Cup back in 2015. And I really think that this kind of deal and for Audi joining FC Cincinnati is definitely going to be good for him because it's a change of scenery. And we already seen what happened with players that are with their former club and kind of gone out of favor. And then when they join a new team, they really start to thrive again. I mean, an example of that is Jarzy Zardes. Look what he is doing for Columbus this season. He's been absolutely phenomenal. And that, who knew that a change of scenery certainly helped to get his confidence back to where he used to be a couple of years ago. And I think that potentially could happen to Fernando Ani. But as for the Fatai Alashe part of the deal, um, FC Cincinnati will be paying the Quakes 60,000 TAM and 75,000 general allocation money. And I gotta say, that is not a lot of TAM that the Quakes have received. And I'm actually surprised the Quakes decide to accept that deal because I would think that Fatai Alashe, although he is started to... He's definitely not as good as he was back in 2015 and since he since the time when he, he started playing for us, I really think just for 60,000 and 75,000 kind of 
kind of game. That seems like a very kind of cheap price that FC Cincinnati has just got him. And it's definitely very sad that we have now lost Fatai Alashe because, you know, Alashe has done so much for this club. You know, he is still, he is always going to be remembered as the player that scored the first ever goal at Avaya Stadium. And it's just kind of sad that he kind of fell out of favor in the last kind of two year. And really the final straw and kind of the final hint of how he is going to be leaving the club happened in that Montreal game when he had kind of an argument with Michael Starhe about the substitute kind of incident. And, you know, I'm just hoping that us selling for Ty Alashe and that later on in a couple of years, I'm really hoping that this is not going to be like what we did a couple of years ago when we sold uh, Beta Short and also Justin Moore, Moore to other club. And you have saw how bad that has gone for us. Like they, those two players become superstar for their future club and both of them also won an MLS Cup. And I am have a feeling that this could potentially be the same K with Fatai Alashe where he thrives with FC Cincinnati and that it turns out that it was once again the Quakes failing to develop a player correctly and letting them go for cheap only to find out that they're actually very kind of decent and it just kind of also sums up our front office and just the way the Quakes have been been operated throughout their time in MLS which is definitely not very good and definitely the wrong way to do it and I already been mentioning a lot of time of how this ownership and this front office is just so bad that I really felt like we desperately need a change but overall you know with Fatai Alashe I wish him the best at FC Cincinnati as much as I hope that we he does not become what Justin Mora and also Stephen Bateshore become when they decide to move to Toronto, you know, I'm still going to wish him the best of luck and he certainly will will be a player that I certainly will be watching for and certainly will be rooting for. I mean, Alashe is certainly one of the fans' favorite and a lot of Quakes fans love Fatai Alashe and love what he has done on the field and also off the feel so certainly good luck to him and hopefully he have a successful career in MLS and yeah that is pretty much it for both of these deals let me know in the comments below what do you think of these deal and what's your overall reaction to it and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time